My name is Awanda. It's been a while. I felt like I need to say that. I'm so sorry. You haven't seen my latest videos um, for the past month. I had opened up me my own little beauty bar, which I do manicures and pedicures. And in the near future, I'll be adding other services because I'm almost finished with my cosmetology license, which will be my facials and my makeup. And probably sometimes I'll probably do braids. I just came here today to offer a little haul that I purchased and basic things that you need to replace. Off, not often, but um, most of the time these are the things you will be replacing if you have a nail business. I'm just going to go jump into it and I'm going to show you the things that I repurchase most of the time. And I'm going to start off with, um, I bought this drill bit. What I, I have a, it's like a wholesale beauty supplies place that he only offer the products to professionals and students that's going to school for cosmetology or, you know, anything that deals with the beauty industry. And every so often, he would probably throw in a gift for me, and this is what he gift me. The name of the company is really irrelevant because I don't think they are nationwide. Sorry about that. But um, basically, I want to show this little haul because these are the things that I repurchase more often, that I use, that I enjoy using. And for one is drill bits. This one was free. And it's the um, cone bit. And it's a fine. And what I like to use this for is like my finishing up on my acrylics around the cuticle area right there. Which I like the cone thing. And it really does, does good. And it gets that acrylic flush to the nail. And that's why I like the cone method. You know, a lot of drill bits people use, you be like, good Lord, how many drill bits do you need? Really, you need to just find a drill bit that works for you. I know we show a lot of drill bits, and I'm going to do a video on all the drill bits that I do use and that what I like to use and how I apply these bits to my acrylic set or feel. And this is... A large barrel cone drill bit and it's fine um, I don't often repurchase this this actually is my first purchase which I'm gonna attempt to use on my chrome powders I usually use the makeup sponge applicators but I want to try this I see a lot of youtubers use and it seems like it it does well on the application so I'm going to give this a whirl. It's called a silicone two set. This is just a plain one. And I paid $7 for these, which I know I probably could have bought it from somewhere else. And many times I say in my video, I like to support my locals. So spending a little extra dollar or two doesn't matter to me as long as I know that I will keep them in business. And a lot of people need to think about that. Not only shopping online. You know, you can go to your local beautiful beauty supply place and find great deals even though it might be a dollar or more and you won't have to go to the hassle of waiting for it to be shipped to you you have it in your hand right then and there don't knock I do shop online I love shopping online but things that I repurchase that is like I, I really need it right then and there I will go to my local beauty supply place no doubt you know and um Moving along. So I know somebody might have something to say about that, but it really doesn't matter to me. Um, sanding bands. I use these two ways. I use these for my pedicures, and I also use these for my finishing on my acrylic set. A lot of people um, like to use the drill for finishing on a hand file. And normally, I don't hand file my finishing on top of my nail. I don't do it like that. I use the drill bit, and it works for me. I do use the finishing product to make sure that my shape is refined. And I always deal with the fine and the medium grit. And most of the fine with my finishing on my acrylics. And also, I use both of these for my pedicures. And I'm always repurchasing these. These are a stable, and I love using them. I know drill bits is reusable and these are throwaway, but you know what? At the end of the day, this is $7, you know, and 
they didn't pay for one standing band for service. Trust and believe you got your money back. So don't think that you have to always just buy reusable products and you feel that this is a waste of time, which is not. I know this is a haul and I'm ramping, but you know, I do like to tell my viewers why I purchased something and you know, it's, it kills me when someone says your video is too long and this is a haul video and your needs to just stop talking and show the goods. But I feel like this is my video and you should appreciate that I'm sharing the information and my knowledge about why I'm buying something and might can even benefit you. If I just go through the video and don't say why I purchased something, then you probably wouldn't buy it and you wouldn't benefit from it and it'd be your loss because you didn't bought so many things that doesn't work okay moving along um i bought this fungus treatment and you know when you're dealing with your own business retail is very important to add income to your business and i find things that i know that my client might have in the long run and I would appreciate if they would take care of it before they come here and I would have to tell them and that they have a fungus and I know that it's embarrassing. I know it's embarrassing and I don't like to tell my clients that. And that is another topic and if anybody wants me to make a video on how to deal with clients with the fungus, I will do that. Leave it in the comment below. But this is the one item that I would retail because you're going to deal with clients that will have this on their fingers or on their toes. So, you know, and this is a way to sell them a product. Okay? These are some micro um, applicator extra long regular sticks. And I'm sure you've seen... Um, <laughs> YouTubers use these and I'm sure you probably want to know where you purchase these and I haven't seen these at Sally's I've seen them online and I also have this at my local beauty store and these are five dollars you can apply um, rhinestones with this apply the glue the gel or whatever to place your rhinestones you can clean up with these you can do whatever you want to do with these you know anything that you need to um, be creative about but basically I like it because they have like a little cotton tip I like this little jar it actually opens like this and I'm gonna show you the stick it has like a little cotton thing but it's actually not cotton it's some kind of fiber and it is not like you're gonna have lint and stuff on your I don't know if you can see that it's not like you're gonna have lint on your application it actually is some little fuzz or some kind of fiber that's at the end of this which is adorable you know and I'm sure if you take one of these off you probably can use that tip to use that as a dyeing tool or something else you know you know you no longer want to use that one throw it away or you could take this off and use it as a dyeing tool uh, not a bad idea huh? but yeah I've seen YouTubers use these for um, sticking down the glue to apply their rhinestones, gel to apply their rhinestones. You can clean up areas with that if you like because like I said it's not cotton, it's a fiber so it won't leave behind any lint. Okay. Okay, these are small waxing small waxing applicators. Now, those that wax, that has a business in waxing, which I will be doing it shortly. I'm just trying to stock all my inventory and see what supplies I want to use. It's a 500 count. These are by Fast to See. I'm sure a lot of people seen this brand. This brand is very popular. They do sell inexpensive products. Um, I, actually, my dust fan collector is by that company. I got 500 count. It's a whole store um, place, so you're going to buy in bulk and you're going to get uh, more for less money and this is how it looks they are small little tips like this I do not like the lottie pop sticks uh, they are too big to handle you wind up putting way so much 
wax on your eyebrows those sticks are good for if you want to wax big large areas and I feel that underneath the eye I wish a lot of people would use these smaller ones because at I used to get my eyes waxed and I just feel that those big sticks just takes to spread that wax so far where you really don't want it you wind up removing more hair than you want to and that's why most of the time they'll jack up your eye wax and proceed service so um, this is just my preference I've used these before I like it and it applies wax where you want it you can use this end or you can use a small end whichever one is comfortable for you and that's why a lot of people that go to school and when it goes to that waxing part they're like oh my god waxing oh, I just, I'm just scared you know because eyebrows can be scared you mess up somebody's eyebrows and they, you know you can't bring that back yeah, they grow back, but you can't fix your mistake. So I feel that just big, huge um, tools is not necessary. I feel that people use big tools to hurry up and finish the job, which I don't. I don't feel that is necessary. Um, I bought another one of these drill bit um, holders, which I like to use and keep my drill bits here when I use it. Just like nine holes here and you just stick your drill bits up in this I'm sure um, and this is also by the same company um, I probably can put the website down for this company they actually do sell that on their website I'm not sure if you have to be a professional but uh, I will leave the link down Below, but I think you have to be a school or a professional and that's how it goes you just stick it down in there and you have all your bits available to you um, I like to use this when I'm I'm really busy and I don't have to keep on opening and closing things and drill bits is everywhere I like to have them stationary in my little drawer that's on my desk right here you see me pull it out and um, and um, and I have them sitting here some this where and you know what I'll put an additional one because I do have a lot of drills that I go through and if I don't have the time to clean them I like to have backup so I need one another one of these so I won't have drill bits everywhere okay I bought rhinestones which you will be here replacing those rhinestones often you know the girl loves bling so um, I think these a thousand you know his rhinestones are pretty reasonable these are Saraskis oh they are beautiful aren't they I pay fourteen dollars for a thousand of them um I know y'all please <laughs> I know you like a thousand for fourteen dollars that's for some Saraskis yeah yeah no. um because I know it's one place that I love shopping on online and there you just get 144 but yeah this is a thousand pieces 1044 pieces for $14 and look at that color they are so pretty I also needed these I don't have any yellow I had to get the number five and I got the bigger ones the number 10 the number 12 I don't use too many colors and do when I use them I just want two sizes I really don't want many because you only contrasting this color into the nail the client really want these blinged out pad and then you just throw this in as the color you're trying to coordinate in there so just remember that you don't have to buy bulk of color because you don't use but one or two of these colors and you know you really don't have to invest in a lot of bunch of colors like a thousand pack like this but hey if you want to that's fine I bought the number 14 which are just the plain rhinestones I like to keep um on hand a bunch of these small sizes which is this is a number eight to me um, I like fives I like the fives but if you look at this smaller one right here it's not that big of a difference as a five and so I can get away with using this with a blinged out nail a number eight a number 14 and a number 16 you know it's like two in between each one this one's probably the smallest and you know what I do I don't buy too many 20s but hey that's that but this is some good sizes 
8, 14, and 16. You could do a lot with that and probably get your 20. Okay, and I also bought some Kara Sky color changing um, colors. And I have some colors by um, Kara, Kara Sky, and I really like her formula. They're very creamy. They last wonderful on the nail and these are the jellos color change ones so i hope i like these i would do a review i only bought five colors he didn't have a big selection he was out of a lot of colors and i know they probably look almost the same but um like i said kiara is coming up some kind of way you know you see kiara sky everywhere and unfortunately people do like her products and her uh, powder dip system is very popular. I haven't um, tried it yet. I'm not too keen on dip nails that much. But I'm trying to favor it as best as I can. You know. So I'll give you my input on why I don't favor that. I'll probably make a video on that. But you know. But anyway. It's five colors kissable pink it changed from that color to that color uh purple rain it comes for that that color to that that color and back poison is purple changed to that color and that color and red symphony that color to that color Black Rose from that color to that color. And I love her packaging. It's pretty. Her packaging is always pretty. Okay, um, you're going to always replace Barbicide, which, hey, $13.50, good sale. This stuff is very expensive and, um, I think this is the only place I can really get it cheap. It's like 20 sometimes more, $30, $25, some other places, but he has a good deal on it. So that's that. I decided to indulge and jump into this two warmer um, GG wax system. And the reason I got double because you have people that are sensitive to some waxes. And so I will have a special kind of wax for those that are sensitive to wax. And um, I know they're usually for one pot $35 at Sally's. I bought this double warmer. Yeah, it was kind of pricey to me and it was $70. And if you really think about it, if you buy two from Sally's, you're, you'll have two plugs. And... Um, I think the one at Sally's, the double warmer, it was out, but I think it's a little bit more expensive than um, this one because if you really think about it, two warmers, you pay $35 for. In some places, there are more, like $40, you pay almost $80. So, you know, I'd rather deal with the double warmer than two plugs. That's how I see it. Okay, and um, that's it for that wholesale business place. I did go to RDA. It is a somewhat in the international wide company. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about RDA. They sell more of hair products, and they sell a little bit of nail products. They're not very keen, but you will find polish, acrylics, and systems like that. And they are pretty much trying to... Um, come out with more nail products and I know that's probably something why people don't go to RDA but that's okay if you're a cosmetology they do have some nail supplies they have more hair but um, like I said it's a local business and I support them I have they also have um, distributors distributors that comes to your shop and you can order from them and you don't have to take your time I'll get in your car and go that if you need something when to be delivered okay um, and that's how they operate and you can also go inside the store. I like these gloves here. It's called Jet Black. Jet Black and what I like about these, they are the long ones and it comes all the way up farther. It doesn't sit on your wrist. This goes up to your kind of about right here of your arm. And um, 
they're pretty pricey. They're latex free as well and a vinyl. So I do like this gloves and it doesn't matter how expensive they are. I'm going to buy them because I like the glove. You can't find too many gloves that goes that far up without paying money for it. So uh, you probably, and, and, and you know, I've looked online too and it's not too many brands that sell gloves that's that long. So I use these gloves basically for my pedicures. I need to start using them for my acrylics because in the long run, the, the dust and everything gets on your skin and you might just get um, allergic reaction to um, some of the the um, residue that falls on your skin. So, and, you know, and you know, sometimes your client might feel some type of way for you wearing gloves sometimes but you know what at the end of the day they go home safe and you go home safe and if you got to explain that to a client explain that if they don't see it your way uh, hopefully they'll understand in the long run that i'm protecting you and myself and and i feel that's what a lawyer business should do protect their client who might feel some type of way let them feel that way but if you feel you need to wear gloves to protect both of you wear the damn gloves um you really don't have to explain yourself you know you provide good service what the hell because you wearing gloves come on get out some feelings y'all this product right here I, i'm really enjoying this product right here and um what it is is a leave-in condition by red skin it's 25 minutes in one united. And I really love this when I do flat irons. Because flat irons, it's a lot of heat. And you know, people want their hair straight. They want that 400 degree flat iron on every strand. You hear me? So, it's good to have something that is leaved in, that is protection. And that is good for the hair. And I feel that, hey... Redskin is a good brand. I love um, the majority of their products. They say it's for all type of hair, but you have to weed through the products that work for you. Everybody is not the same, and our texture of hair and density of our hair and porosity of our hair is not the same. So we got to find products that work, and I feel that this product works for all types of hair. It's called 25 Benefits from Red Skin, and what it does... It has condition, nourish, improve manageability, which is a good detangler. Trust and believe that the tangles I had to take out at school help even out porous hair, reduces dryness, detangles, instant results, ideal cu cutting lotion, primes hair for styling, helps prevent breaking from brushing, safe for color treated, treated hair, help you prevent heat damage, help prevent split ends, help seal in hair cuticles, safe for ombre hair, help shield against external aggressors, um, give it a silky touch, add smoothness, add shine, help control fizz, antiseptic, control flyaways, make blow dry easier style refresher lightweight result in which it is and you can leave in or you can rinse it out in one to two minutes if you want a light conditioning um flat iron i like to leave it in if it's not a flat iron i'll wash it out and it is 25 benefits in it it actually is really good i really like it and it's like about 10 to 11 dollars for this bottle and i use this with a combination of a oil when i flat iron a concoction that i make i will be repurchasing it okay um i'm not a blonde but i couldn't pass up this deal at rda they had this pravana um blonde wine and what this blonde wine does is those that have that bleached hair blonde hair this eye will um Blonding and lightening up to level 7s in just 10 seconds. Meaning that you apply it, you fall, you put this on top of your falls, and bam. And the thing is that this is a value of $79.99. Already here have the sale for this month only. And this one is $19.99. And it also gives you the products. It gives you the blonde one and plus the pure light cream lightener. 
Pravana is a good product. I have used it. I love the vivid colors, the purples, the greens. The, I would, I'm, it's not a preference for me, but I like sending other people hair. It's that weird, you know? It's, it looks just, oh my God, so bold. And like I said, this is how you do it. It shows it on there. And I bought two of these. I might gift one of these away one day. I don't need to. Uh, I'm really not blonde in no hair. I never know. I might go blonde one day. But I couldn't pass up an $80 value for $19.99. Okay. <sighs> Things we do for this industry. You tell me. You tell me. Okay. I've been wondering if I wanted to invest in this gel top coat. I have heard from Run2 YouTuber that this is her ride or die, stable, must have it. I'll link her below. P.I. Now, I have used this one before. Back in the day when I was fresh and I was like, oh my God, this is hell to take off a nail. You know? This is hell to take off a nail. You hear me? <laughs> But you know what? Sometimes these days the client wants you to have hell taken off a nail. And that's a good thing. When your nails last two to three weeks, if they can't come in and they last a month and they come in and praying and hoping that they're not missing two nails because you're going to have to take longer on her nails. And they come in here and they have the full set, hardly no lifting not that much to work on and no missing nails man that client will be forever your client i'm telling you i have witnessed it i have clients that comes in here a month and no missing nails and i have had them ever since i want to try this product because i've heard that this is a good product and um it stays very well on gel polish and i won't be using this on my um gel manicure my gel polish manicure only on top of my gels on my acrylics because you know i don't want to have too much problems taking this off my clients with just a natural gel manicure okay this stuff is kind of pricey i think it was ten dollars probably yeah ten something i always replace this this is my ride or die top coat for my natural nail manicures and my pedicures this top coat is amazing when I tell you amazing, it shines, it, it, it doesn't chip, it lasts on my client nails for a week. It's it's a stable. I will repurchase this. I will repurchase this. I will repurchase this. I will repurchase this. Don't take this off the market, Cindy. Okay, um, ridge filler. You do have clients with ridges. I also have ridges. They just is not as deep as others. Um, as you get older, you might have ridges, and I've heard this is a good ridge for your CND, so give it a try. Um, and what it does, it just it just uh, balances out a natural polish. You don't see those lines sometimes, those ripples and stuff like that. You just have a smooth finish. That what that is what a ridge filler does, and also it nourishes at the same time. Um, I think it's with this you buy these two products and you get a polish free and I decided to get CND Black Pool. Black Pool is a nice black and so I didn't have a color by them in this color so I added it to my collection. I do have um, about 15 bottles of this brand. This is a good brand. It does last on the nails if you use the whole system as it says. It doesn't need a base coat, only the top coat. And I trust me, dries very fast. You won't be disappointed. Okay, also with my um, flat ironing, I use this and I mix it up with, um, with an oil. It's like a blow dry all by red skin. I really like it. It blows dry your hair fast and it's an oil. I like it and I mix a little bit of this in it. It's a keratin healing oil. Just a little bit, not overpowering, not overwhelming. Just a little bit. And it's um, keratin healing oil. I just use this in combination with my flat iron. Um, it's a little pricey, I tell you that. But it was on sale. Got it for $7. So it retails for, I think, $15, 17 I like it. 
Okay, that's it for RDA. I went to TJ Maxx and I only got some eyelashes. I never tried this company, the Cream Shop. Yeah, the Cream Shop. And these are 100% human hair eyelashes. They don't look half bad. Um, but I just grabbed them. I thought they was cute and lovely. If anybody tried this brand, give me a shout out. I always find the, the ones by Ardell. I like them too. But if you find another brand that works for you, why not try them? If it don't work, toss it. Toss it like career educational. I really like her video. Um, so I bought, I think this is the same. Yeah, this is the same one too. But that's that. Yeah, this is going to be a long video. So, they are very pretty. 100% human hair. It looks, they looks real. It looks like human hair. I don't know. Let's see how you feel when I open it up and try them. But, yeah. That's all I bought from TJ Maxx. That's the end of my haul, guys. Um, if y'all have any questions about anything... I purchased, leave them in the comment below. You know I answer all my comments. It might not be today, it might be tomorrow, it might be next week, but you will get a comment from me. Return to the sender. But anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.